Hello guys, welcome to chapter 4 of our exploration of the Indian philosophy where we will examine the Jainism, a unique school of thought centered on non-violence, self-discipline and the pursuit of liberation. Jainism offers a fascinating framework that includes the concept like the Sat, Dravya, Guna, Paraya, we will discuss the jiva or the soul and ajiva, the non-soul, which define the dual nature of the reality in the Jain philosophy. Jain thinkers also emphasize the Anikantavada or the theory of multiple viewpoints. Siyadvada, the theory of the conditional prediction. Nayavada, the theory of the perspective. Lastly, we will look at Jainism's deep commitment to ahimsa or the non-violence and the concepts of bondage and liberation. So join us as we uh, dive into the principles that form the foundation of this ancient philosophy focused on the ethical living and spiritual freedom. So now the Sat, Dravya, Guna, Paraya. So in Jain philosophy, Sat represents the existence emphasizing the reality consists of both permanent and changing aspect dravya or the substance is a core element that underlines the all existence each dravya processes the guna or the qualities which define its essential properties these qualities however manifest through praya paraya or the modes which represent the varying for vary, varying forms of a substance can take over time. This perspective allows Jain thinkers to explain both the permanence or change in the world as each substance retain its essential qualities even as its mode shift. This duality between the permanence and the flux is central to Jain metaphysics or the we can say this illustrating the complexity of the existence. Through this framework, Jain philosophy underscores uh, understanding of the world, balancing the essence of things with their transient manifestation. So now the Jiva and Ajiva or the soul and the non-soul. In Jainism, all of existence is divided into the Jiva or the soul and Ajiva, the non-soul. Jiva represents the consciousness, the life and the intrinsic potential for liberation, encompassing all living beings. Ajiva includes all non-living entities such as the matter, space, time, motion. This duality between the Jiva and the Ajiva is fundamental to Jain thought as it shapes their world view on nature of the reality and the path to the liberation. Jiva is considered bound by karmic particles which attach to the soul due to actions and emotions leading to the cycle of the rebirth. The goal of spiritual practice in Jainism is to separate the soul from these karmic bonds achieving a state of pure liberated consciousness. This distinction between the living and non-living elements is, is essential in the Jain metaphysics and ethics as it emphasizes the need for the purity and the detachment to reach the liberation. So now the Anikantavada, Siyadvada, Nayavada. So Jain philosophy emphasizes the relativity and the plurality of the perspective through the through these three points. So Anikantaveda or the theory of multiple viewpoints teaches that the reality is complex and cannot be fully understood from a single perspective. Okay. Siyadvada, the theory of conditional prediction, complement this by asserting that truth depends on various conditions, encouraging the statements like in some respect to reflect the reality's perspective. Nayada, uh, Nayavada or the theory of perspectives suggests that each viewpoint is valid in its context, even if it appears contradictory 
from another angle. Together, these principles argue individuals to avoid the absolutism and consider the multiple dimension of truth. This approach to knowledge fosters the tolerance and understanding encouraging a worldview that respects differentiate differing the options and the acknowledges the limitations of individual perspective. These principles form the foundation of the Jain epistemology, aligning with its ethical emphasis on non-violence in thought and action. So now the ahimsa or the non-violence. So ahimsa or the non-violence is the cornerstone of the Jain ethical philosophy and represent a profound commitment to avoiding the harm to any living beings. The, these principles extend beyond physical actions to include thoughts and speech, reflecting a deep respect to all forms of life. Jains believe that any act of violence, whether intentional or unintentional, accumulates negative karma, binding the soul and the obstructing the path to the liberation. Ahimsa influences all aspects of Jain life, from dietary choices to interpersonal behavior and is considered essential for achieving the spiritual purity. By practicing the non-violence, Jain aim to cultivate compassion, reduce the attachment to the material world and the purify their soul. Ahimsa thus serves not only as an ethical guideline but as a spiritual practice integral to the pursuit of liberation, embodying the Jainism's dedication to peace and compassion. So now the bondage and the liberation. In the Jain philosophy, the bondage refers to the attachment of the karmic particles to the soul caused by actions, desires and emotions. These karmic particles influence the soul's experiences and prolong the cycle of the rebirth. Liberation or the moksha is the ultimate goal achieved by purifying the soul of all karmic bonds. This process involves strict adherence to the ethical principles, the self-discipline and uh, meditation gradually reducing the influence of karma on the soul. By achieving a state free from karmic attachment, the soul attains a pure and liberated existence beyond the cycle of the rebirth. This concept of liberation emphasizes the self-effort as individuals are solely responsible for their path to spiritual freedom. Jainism's, Jainism's approach to bondage and liberation underscores the importance of ethical living and inner purification, the guiding to adherence toward a life of compassion and self-awareness. So through this chapter, we have explored the Jainism, Jainism's profound views on the existence, the duality of the soul and the non-soul, the interconnectedness of life through the concept like the Anikantavada, the Jain effects or the Jain ethics, particularly Ahimsa and the standout of as essential principles for a harmonious life, reflecting the Jaini, Jainism's commitment to peace and compassion. By understanding the mechanism of the bondage and the bar and the path of liberation, Jainism provide a unique roadmap towards spiritual freedom. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive video of the Jain philosophy. In our next chapter, we will continue to exploring the diverse landscape of Indian philosophy, or we can say the introduction to philosophical thoughts. So stay tuned, and also like, share, and subscribe our channel for more videos in this chapter, okay?